our lives are like buckets. Drip by drip, we fill ourselves to the brim. Each drop a new experience, friend, or place. Some of these buckets can hold oceans, while others can barely hold a puddle. Sometimes we cannot feel the tap running above us, and other times we struggle to keep up with the deluge that, might, that life might drown us in. But I find this view of life to be highly problematic. <laughs> our lives cannot be defined by our capacity to experience, and what happens to us is not limited to the confines of our own perceptions, emotions, or knee-jerk reactions. When something happens, it happens not only to us. If a drop is added, the ripples reach far beyond the boundaries of our own socially constructed buckets. No, our lives are not like buckets, waiting to be filled under the tap, or waiting to receive our experiences from some other source. Our lives are like fires that need to be kindled. Each new experience, friend or place, a twig, a branch, or log carefully sapped, enabling us to grow and thrive. You see, when you build a fire, as Rita or Ben might be able to tell you, <laughs> there are certain ingredients needed. Oxygen, fuel, and a spark. We too need oxygen, fuel, and a spark. Oxygen comes from our environment. It is the inspiration from others that subtly works in tandem with our drive and passion. It is the late night laughter we hear in passing, or the smiles received by strangers. We may not always be conscious of its presence, but we cannot deny our dependence. <clears throat> Fuel is what we provide ourselves with. We seek out new experiences, friends, or places, and incorporate them with the rest of our lives, taking into account the existing shape of the fire. Sometimes we need tinder, and sometimes we need twigs or trunks, and if we place too much on the pile, the oxygen may be blocked out, and our fires might suffocate and die. Finally, we need a spark. Where this comes from is up to you. Some of us are equipped with lighters, while others must work with flint. <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps it isn't fair that some of us have lighters and for others to have flint, but trust me, Lighting a fire with stones somehow makes the fire burn brighter. So remember this. The beautiful thing about fire is that they are alive and dynamic. Their breath, their heartbeat, their existence provide so much for those around them. Your lives, your fires, can provide heat for those shivering in the dark cold. And who knows, maybe your lives will provide the inspiration for others. Maybe your fire will provide the spark for others. So now that you're going off into the world, know that your actions reach farther than the make-believe boundaries of your minds. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. Thank you. So, thank you all again for coming. We will see you back in this area at 6. Right now, there are refreshments for you at the social center, at the social center, and a couple of exhibitions as well. See you back at six.